Well, it appears no one truly knows how to enforce residency requirements for people who work for Shelby County. That's something that the chairman of the commission says needs immediate attention. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews is local in Shelby County. There are a lot of freedoms in America. Heck, you can vote for whoever you want to vote for. You can drive whatever kind of car you want to drive, and you can live wherever. Oh, wait a minute. If you work for Shelby County government, you must live in Shelby County. Whether you're a clerk downtown or a corrections officer, that's the deal. It should be pretty easy to understand. Right now, the Shelby County Charter says that you have to live in Shelby County. But then also, uh, we have policies and uh, items that you need to prove that you live in Shelby County. I don't think it's clear. Go back a few weeks. Commissioners were discussing whether the director of corrections, Anthony Alexander, lived in Shelby County or at a house in Tipton County. They checked it out, says Shelby County Chief Administrative Officer Dwan Gilliam. He states that he is renting an apartment where he lays his head down every night, and that apartment is in uh, Shelby County. Uh, he has his utilities turned on there. Uh, he has his um, vehicle registered at that particular location. After investigating, the administration ruled Alexander is following the residency requirements. Billingsley says he's not looking at any one specific case, not that case. He's looking at the whole ball of wax when it comes to where people live and how you prove it. I'm going to announce uh, next week that we're going to create an ad hoc committee on Shelby County residency as it relates to uh, county employees. I think we've got to bring transparency to this. All of this is happening while Memphis City Council members debate letting you folks decide on whether residency requirements should be changed for police officers and firefighters. Billingsley says he's going to get that committee together probably within the next few weeks and start looking at the issue. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.